Hello, wonderful people of YouTube. We are back for another episode of Hello, Is It Mike You're Looking For? Um, again, my name is Meg. I'm Brad. And uh, we're going to take you through uh, the next range of condenser mics that we have on offer. So we've uh, got a little selection here, haven't yep. we? A uh, price bracket of around 300 to 500 pounds. So uh, without further ado, why don't you tell them what we've uh, got to show today? So what we've got today, uh, three, I guess you'd call them higher end microphones. We're starting to get into that price bracket now where you could quite easily see these in pro studios. Yeah. So uh, we've got the Warm Audio WA14, which you may have seen a previous video uh, with me and Nate from Warm Audio. We've also got the SE4400A, which I'm very keen to see how these two work out. because mm, yeah, you know. Too. We'll go into a bit more detail, but they're both very similar to the, or based around the AKG 414. And then we've got the Sontronics uh, Orpheus, which, you know, I actually just picked because of the look of it. I know, <laughs> it looks so cool. It looks like extraterrestrial, vintage kind of. That's, yeah, it looks that cool. sounds pretty hipsterish. Yeah. Extraterrestrial, oh, yeah. vintage, mm. you know. Um, it's like steampunk, but the next evolution <laughs> of. So, uh, yeah. Just to go through uh, some of the tech talk, these are all multi-pattern condensers, um, meaning they can have figure of eight, omni or cardioid, um, which if you don't know what that means, tough. <laughs> We're not gonna talk <laughs> about that today, um, but you can give us a call or visit the website, which gives more information on that. Um, so as I've previously mentioned, the WA14 and the SE4400A are very much more based around the AKG414, which is a microphone that goes into another price bracket, probably about 800 plus. Um, so we are gonna shoot that out later, and maybe we could do a shoot out on all three of them, just mm. to see how that fares. Yeah. Um, but what, um, I suppose this is the one that looks the most like the 414, and what SE say about it is that it's the most optimum shape for recording um, pretty much everything, from guitar cabs to vocals to drum overheads. And but yeah, I feel like that's a shape that you, you rarely see. Yeah, I suppose it is. It's you know, it's not for the me most. Anyway, if you look at the from the side, it's very sort of thin, narrow microphone. Um, now, the, the problem with a lot of other companies when they've made these microphones of this shape is they put a big, big old shock mount on it like that. So if you want to get it to the um, straight up against the grill of a cab, it's a lot harder to do that because you've got this here. Mm. So what S E Electronics did. Lily Electronic um, is they created this thing called a spider shock mount, which doesn't actually have a front to it. Um, now, obviously, this isn't really relevant to vocals, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Mm -hmm. We're here, why not? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what we do is you pop it into the spider mount and it will actually sit outside. So, still giving it the flexibility of a shock mount, but means you could go right up against the guitar cab or percussion or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, that's quite a cool little feature on that one, which I, I you know, I, I quite like. And uh, this mic has been around for some time. I've actually used it on uh, choir overheads, drum overheads, str strings, acoustic guitar, electric guitar. So, it'll be interesting to see how it fares with your vocals. Yeah, yeah. Um, as I mentioned, WA14, which we shot uh, previously, did some guitars and drums, we did acoustic and electric guitars. You weren't about for that. No, I wasn't. I think it was a busy day in the office. Mm. Um, so today we're only gonna do uh, vocals with this one. So that should be an interesting shootout to see how that goes. And then we've got the Orpheus from Sontronics, which I don't really know a lot about. I haven't had any experience with it myself. No, and I know I. that you haven't had any experience with any no. of these, have you? So no. it should be quite fun to, to see how this fares. And um, yeah, let's give it a go. Do you yeah. know what you're singing for us today? I think I'm going to do a rendition of Wicked Games. Not familiar with that one, actually. Not. So no, I, I don't like music. I'm just. Where have you been? I don't it's know. It's only been made famous by about seven different people. And now anyway, you. It will It'll be a be treat. Eight. Yeah, cool, excellent. So let's check that out. The world was on fire. No one could save me but you. It's strange what desire can make foolish people do I never dreamed I'd find somebody like you I never dreamed I'd find somebody like you And I don't want to fall in love and I don't want to fall in love with you What a wicked 
wicked thing to do to make me dream of you what a wicked thing to say to make you feel this way okay so now you've heard how they were all in action what are we thinking brad uh, it was just so difficult. <laughs> it was. It's they, really difficult. We were I, was, I was personally impressed with all of them. Yeah, same. But I think if I had to choose a winner, it'd be this little guy here. SE 4400. Yeah, the last one. From SE Electronics. So, you know, that's that one there. Um, but it is it's safe to say that pretty much all of them sounded so good. Yeah. <laughs> Could yeah. have happily used any of those in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't really a case that you go, oh, well, this is definitely a winner and these yeah. other two were a bit naff. It was, it was... more of a preference. Yeah, um, absolutely. But this one surprised me. I, I wasn't sure how this would, because obviously, I, as I said to you, I've never really tried a mic that looks anything like that. But um, what Was it you said it looked like a bourbon? A little bourbon. It's a little bourbon. It's a little bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, apparently it's a little bourbon. But um, no, I, I was quite happy with that because as I say, I, I had those microphones for a very long time and I, mm. I really like that. So it was interesting to hear it against the WA-14. Yeah. I think for vocals, um, they, they were so close, so very close, but it, it just, there was something to it. Yeah. It was just a little sparkle, a little, maybe mm. just a, a little kick that it had that the other one was missing. Yeah. Um, but you know, the let's not forget the Orpheus because that, that sounded awesome that mm -hmm. was so smooth yeah. and I think maybe on another song like on something a bit more soulful yeah. it would have probably won so that's that's the thing we've got to remember with this when we're doing these we're only using one song we're using one style yeah. um, it is a rough guide at the end of the day but it, that they all three of them are just fantastic really good microphones yeah I was really impressed yeah. so yeah hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed watching this one um, if there are any suggestions you'd like to make or comments or you want to start seeing other microphones mm -hmm. you know hopefully engage with us in the comment section and um, yeah and don't forget to like subscribe definitely subscribe mm. and share and uh, let's get a little discussion about which yeah. mics are our Absolutely. favorites and Meg has spoken I have listen she, on an interesting <laughs> side note, actually, um, Meg is short for Megatron because your parents are massive Transformers fans, aren't they? No, they're not. <laughs> that, is, that is purely what Brad wants me to be called after. It's yeah, really I, not. I, I think Megatron would be a, it's a very Wait, feminine what was our, name. Wait, what was our combined name? Uh, Mega Brad. Mega Brad. We are Mega Brad. There you go. And on that note, Mega Brad out. Bye. There we go. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching the Andertons YouTube Music Technology Channel. If you're a guitar player or you play bass or a drummer or you're into keyboards, you might like one of our other YouTube channels and I'll put links to those in the description below. Anyway, if you'd like to find out more about the products we featured in this video, please click up here. If you'd like to watch another video from this channel, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, click down here. And lastly, if you'd like to subscribe to our Music Tech YouTube channel, please click down here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.